welcome to this incredibly special edition of Bison Talks Impact. And at this time, I want to welcome, it would have been my two guests, but at the moment, hopefully the big LG will be joining us, but at the moment it's the machine gun Carl Anderson, uh, the good brother himself. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm good, man. I'm trying to get the big man in, but... Uh, we've been on a little bit of a media blitz, and then I think the Skype threw us off because hey, we, forgot, we forgot about Skype. Skype's the is the is the one that paved the way, man. Oh so, man, it's still great. I, I, I'm I'm a little more uh, I'm a little more tech savvy, and when I say that, I'm not very good at all, but I'm a little better than the big man. So <laughs> that's why you got me and only me. But that's Fair all right. Enough. I'm sure he'll join us any minute. I'm sure he will. Now, what I was going to say to you, though, is, you know, what a, you know, what a past three to four months has been since you guys debuted Slammiversary uh, back in July. Now, you know, it's been well, well documented already uh, why you decided to sign with the Impact Wrestling. Um, so I wanted to fast forward a little bit. Um, here, here he There's is. There's the brother. The, the big man's here. How we you made doing, it. Here we go. Here we good, go. Good man. Good. How are you, good brother? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Um, we're, I was we're just running saying, hot. We're running hot already, Gallo. We're so running, man. Oh yeah. Shoot we're on going. him, baby. <laughs> so I was just literally saying to Cole, what an incredible last three or four months it's been since you guys debuted at Slammiversary. Um, and you know, it, I, I I was just saying to Cole, it's been well documented the reasons why you signed for Impact Wrestling. So I just wanted really to fast forward it a little bit um, and ask you a little bit about Talking Shop for Keg Special. Um, I was really lucky uh, to get to see the to get to see the special. I was uh, I also got to review it with my uh, with my good brother uh, Joker. My uh, <laughs> We, we both had a, a absolutely fantastic time watching it and reviewing it. Um, and actually, it's one, it's one of our highest viewed videos um, on YouTube. So uh, I really Good. appreciate that. Send that to our boss that. real quick. Send that to our boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let him Send know. To <laughs> I, I often remind him how great his abs look. So there it, you go. It's, it's <laughs> what I wanted to know from you guys was, did you have a blast filming it? And is there going to be um, any more of these specials in the future? Because I think they're awesome. Yes, we and we an hope absolute, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had an absolute blast filming it. I think there'll be more content coming from us as far as specials and stuff like that go. Don't know exact subject matter yet, but man, if you couldn't tell, I think everybody who watched could tell. We had an absolute blast doing that. Uh, Scott DeMort Impact gave us a whole bunch of freedom on that. And uh, man, it was great. It, there were great feedback on uh, on socials and stuff like that. So. We hope if you fun. watched, you loved it, and I hope that it was a good little appetizer, a good little precursor for talking shop of mania too. It's just oh. we just want we just like we thrive, man. Like like we some people thrive off different stuff, but like we thrive off of making people just laugh and just be entertained, yes. and like with our kind of humor, man. Like uh, you know, it, it's just. And full keg was exactly it was exactly us. I don't think it's for everybody by any means, but like if right. you. You can just slip in and go, what the fuck are these guys doing, man? Man, this is kind of funny. <laughs> but, but ma- making content like with, with with my best friends like that, like we're doing now and just having having fun is like it's what people set out to do like yeah. as a dream when you're when you're trying to break into business. So like, what we're doing right now is just man, it's like it's what you dream about doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I for me. You know, I think as a long time wrestling fan, you know, going back sort of kind of 25, 30 years, um, you know, I've always I, I you know, I've always thought, you know, do you know what? Rest like a cartoon, for instance, the adult cartoon that you guys, you know, the real gimmicks, you know, yeah. I've always thought, do you know what? It, it, this would be so good in in a kind of like you know South Parky style way you know and I know that the, the characters from wrestling have appeared on South Park on several occasions um, yeah but you know I just think the way that you guys are going about it is is absolutely superb it's it's kind of you know taking the mick in the right way um, and and having a lot of fun and, and I bet when you're voicing it you guys are find it hard to keep straight faces I bet man they uh they they got Toonstar, we got to take our hats off to them because the people over there, Louisa, Danny, the creative guys, they got our humor right away. They watched some Chad Too Bad, they watched some Sex Ferguson, they watched Talking Shop of Mania, and it kind of clicked with them. So uh, now they'll give us an outline and we'll just go, all right, well, how about we stick this line right here? And man, it's some funny shit. Like we, I, <laughs> I laugh my ass off every time I get the new script and read through it before I start the voiceover. So it's it's been a bit, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, okay. just keep watching that thing. Keep following at the real gimmicks. And uh, oh, it's I've, gonna end. 
it's gonna land somewhere, man. It's gonna land. We want that to be a show. Like I mean, I blast out. Hey, I blast. I fight with regards to that all the time. I tell you what, there isn't enough of though. There isn't enough uh, gifts. We need we need some more sort of kind of like, you know. Uh, yeah, you're you know right. I mean? We're that gonna have to work amazing. on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of great guest characters that you won't even believe are signing on to be a part of this thing as, as yeah. uh, cameos, too. It's like talking shop of mania, man. It's a different uh, different universe for us. In a cartoon universe, there's going to be some um, some cool people popping up on that thing in the, in, the, in the days, weeks, and months to come, for sure. So at BFG, uh, we saw you guys uh, compete in a four-way uh, tag title match. And, um, you know, we, we – well, we know how that one ended up, you know, with a, with a, with a belt to the head and yeah. a roll of one, two, three, et cetera, with the new champs in North. Um, again, becoming, you know, two-time tag champs, so fair play to them. Um but that said, even after some real, you know, kind of salt rubbing from Ethan and Joss, um, really trying to get under your guys' skins on the socials as well, I noticed, um, over the last sort of few weeks, as well as on Impact as well. I mean, what are your real thoughts on the North as a team? Well, they're good. You know, they, uh, they're they really good. We, we hadn't heard a lot about them until we left the WWE. And then once we did and we realized we were going to sign with Impact, we started – kind of researching um uh who they were what they were what fans thought of them and and I, we realized that that fans do have a high regard of them and even put yeah. them in some top five and uh, top five lists of tag teams in the world and when we realized that that kind of offended us as well and it's like who, i mean who is who are the north that was my that was my right. very first question like <clears throat> so to be able for them to, to get in the ring with us, I think puts a spotlight on them and allows them now to be seen by a whole different, a whole different viewing audience. And they're good. I mean, they're, they're, they're charismatic, they're big they're strong. I mean, and, and they obviously know how to wrestle. They can um, go so, in the ring, yep. Yeah. So to get in there with them, I think is, uh, it's a matchup that the impact fans want to see. And so, Hey, and being in there with them at bound for glory, you know, impacts, you know, biggest pay-per-view of the year each year. It's, it's, it was fun, man. But turning points a different is is going to be a different level when we can turn it up on them for the tag team championships and 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 get that triple crown going, Daddy. We need to have that's titles right. titles from every main company in the world. That, that's, that would the, be... that's the one set that's been eluding us for a long time. You know, um, we need those for the mantles, and we're coming on November the 14th on Impact Plus Turning Point to get it. If you don't have Impact Plus, seven ninety nine a month, every pay per view event, Impact Wrestling history. As far as these specials go, they're off the chain. I've, I've seen what's on the card for this thing. It is loaded down. There's all kinds of great content, independent events, stuff being added all the time. So don't sleep on Impact Wrestling and don't sleep on Impact Plus. No, without doubt. I mean, I, I was I was literally going to come to. I was just wondering what you know what in the world you might have in store for for the North come turning point on the 14th. A magic killer. A one two three. Buster. Unstun. Unstun. Power big bomb. boot, <laughs> big boot. <laughs> yeah, lots you're, of things. You, you're definitely, you're definitely, you're definitely gunning for the win, then, yeah. You, you, Smash you, some beers in the ring afterwards. Time. You guys are going to come out at turning point as the brand spanking new Impact Tag Team Champs, right? Yes. Yeah, it's time to. We've been having a blast. It's time to get serious, buckle down, and let everyone know why. Why you know. We, we left the trophy in the sand a while ago, but we're the best tag team in the world. There's a lot out there who say it, but but we know it. We've proved it everywhere we've ever gone. We like to have fun, but when it's time to buckle down, like it's time to buckle down. And I think taking that belt shot to the head at Bound for Glory, it just it just kind of reinvigorated the fact that it's time for us to buckle down, take it serious, and and win these titles at Turning Point. Oh man. I would be pretty awesome. You know, I am, I have to say, you know, I'm a big fan of both of the, both of the teams. Um, you know, for me, if you guys came out on top, I'd be happy if they came out on top, I'd still be happy because, you know, over the last sort of 12 to 18 months, you know, seeing these guys grow, um, yeah. has been an amazing adventure for any impact fan, I think. Um, but now with you guys coming in, I mean, it's just, it's turning the tag, you know, the tag division upside down. And, and we really, as far as I can see, have got some of the best tag teams in the world. And, and to have you guys on top of that would be would be incredible. Uh, yeah. I apologize about my no problem. Problem. No problem. Uh, uh, we've, we've got the fireworks going off over it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I think I think our tag team division stands up across the entire world. We have an amazing division, you know, with, with the North and us and the Motor City Machine Guns and uh, 
You got some great up and coming teams. I saw Triple XL showing some attitude to Chris Saban on TV the other night. I yeah. love that. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of cool shit coming down the pike from Impact Wrestling, and it's fun to be in a company where um, you know we want to be big single stars too, but but we're we have a rich history in tag team wrestling, and now we're somewhere where we can absolutely showcase it, which is a good thing. Oh, without doubt. So and what I really like about you guys as well is you've got quite a contrasting style as well, yeah. because obviously you with being the big guy, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you really, really got some serious power behind you. Yeah. Uh, and, and Carl, you sometimes I when I watch you sort of kind of hit into high gear, you become a bit like a, you know, almost like a sort of kind of X Division style wrestler because you're so sure. quick and explosive. Um, yeah. and, and so I think you've got a real good mix between the pair of you to which, you know, and again, that chemistry of being such good friends, the good brothers, um, actually, you know, um, um, shines through in everything that you do, um, whether it be in the ring or outside the ring. And I think that's a phenomenal thing to see. Yeah, you know, it works. You know, Gallo's being one of the best big man, the best best moving big man in the in the business. You know, he doesn't get as much credit as as he as he should ever. I think it's because he's so funny outside of the ring, or even, <laughs> or just be, when you make people laugh, sometimes they forget that you can that you can actually get in there and 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 fuck people up. But I, I've always considered myself. If people look back on my New Japan stuff, I mean, I had, I did, I did a lot of pay-per-view main event singles title matches, man. Like I, I can, I consider myself. If you give me the opportunity to be one of the best professional wrestlers in the world, and that's just because I have confidence in myself. I've done it. I, I've main evented pay-per-views for singles championships in front of 10,000, 15,000 people, and I'm not scared to have that spotlight on me. And I want it again. And uh, that's what we want to do. We want to be the tag champions. And after that, we'll see what happens. And we want to grow and, and change and, and, and always, always be a part of each other's uh, business, business minded stuff, whatever we're doing. But we also want to be singles champions. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That sounds amazing. I, I think we, you know, I, I know you guys have, have signed a, at least a couple of year deal. So it's great to see you guys are going to be around for the long term. Who yeah. knows? Who knows what you could do, um, you know, between now and, and the end of your contracts? I mean, for me, I'd hope that you would extend, but that's down to you guys. Uh, but we hope so fan, too, man. We're, we're loving that, it. That would be amazing. Uh, That's the and, goal. And what I love more than anything is seeing how you guys, you know, promote the brand. Um, you know, you see people coming in and you see people going and, you know, they're nowhere near as kind of like, pro, you know, promote the brand as much as you guys do. And I think it's an amazing thing to watch. And, and I, I really appreciate it. We like being in a place that promotes us. They promote everything we're doing. We promote everything that they're doing. We believe in the brand. Um, our boss is a buddy of ours. So there's a lot of similarities that work right there. It's just like, you know, Carl and I being best buddies inside and outside the ring and then being able to be business partners together, it shines through and it shows we're always there and we got each other's backs. And uh, for the first time in a long time, I feel like we have a boss and a company behind us that also has our backs. So we're going to go the extra mile for them and uh, put as much spotlight on them as they're putting on us. And it's just, uh, it's a great marriage right now. You know, and we're here for the brothers and the sisters, man. Like, honestly, I swear, if it just say for some crazy ass reason we left Impact, like I, I want Impact to be bigger than it ever has been because I want people to go. I want people to keep going to Impact. Like I want yeah. Impact to always be on people's minds. That's not our plan. We plan. We talk about it every day. We yeah. want to be at Impact for 27 more years, not have to ever do anything else. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. I, I really yeah. am. I, I think over the last three years, the company has changed beyond recognition. Like, so much. You know, all over. Um, and I, it's an amazing thing to see. And um, I, I'm I'm loving the ride so far, um, you know, as a fan of, of the product and a guy that talks about the product all the yeah. time. Um, sure. Yeah, you too. Thank you. you yeah, know, so. I, I love that shirt on you. It looks good, good brother. You can get those over at shopimpact.com. I'm sure you certainly all know can, that. Baby. You <laughs> certainly can. Um, so it, you know, it's fun. The only thing I'm trying to get the bourbon, man. I'm trying to get the bourbon. Can you get oh, it over are the we? UK or what? Yeah, we're 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 having we're having shipping issues due to this pandemic and the okay. alcohol laws and stuff. Like in the states right now, you can tnsmania.com. By the way, all things Good Brothers are there or coming there right now. There's there's info and updates on the alcohol in the United States. Uh, the wine is available on a link over there. There's merchandise links. There's links to the podcast, to our, our live events that are linked to the podcast. Hopefully very soon, links to Impact Live events, because we can't wait to have those in front of an audience again. Yeah, that'd be amazing. For you guys. Yeah. And, you know, we've made it very public. I'll say it again here. We've said it to you before, I'm sure. But we can't wait to get back over 
to the UK and across the oh. pond. Uh, we love wrestling over there. Uh, I personally, the best impact shows I ever wrestled on were over there in the past. There it is. And I know, I know now it'll be even bigger and better now that we got the good brothers and this, this new, uh, young, talented, and then reinvigorated roster with all these, uh, all these veterans and stars coming in. Okay. Is that a landline phone? I don't know. <laughs> got no idea. That's, that's, uh, that, uh, that was coming from, that was coming from our PR guy. Oh, uh, was it? Was that from Ross? <laughs> yeah, it was from the. That was from our PR guy. Who still has a landline? Because he's a PR guy. You got to have a landline. Yeah, he's got to have a landline. PR that's, that's the booking <laughs> office calling. <laughs> okay, so um, I think we're sort of kind of out of time now, guys. Um, so, you know, um, I, all I've got to say is we're looking forward to see you guys at Turning Point. Um, thank you ever so much uh, for joining me today on Bison Talks Impact. Uh, that, like I said, you can, you know, you search the the the, the the good brothers all over the Twitter box, uh, all over the social stuff. Uh, yep. they, they're very active on there. Um, all that's left to say is, you know, please leave us a thumbs up, leave some comments. Um, thank you very much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. One thing quick, one thing quick, everybody, the sequel to the worst pay-per-view ever talk and shop a mania Two. It airs Friday, November the 13th on the eve of turning point in the UK. You can pre-order now at fight TV Ball for a ball match. Chad Too Bad versus Sex Ferguson. All kinds of great wrestling legends, superstars of today, yesterday, and the ones that you're going to be seeing soon. In roles you've never seen them before. It's TVMA. Put the kids to bed, crack a beer, take off your pants, and watch <laughs> Talk and Shop a Mania 2. Love Thanks it. for the love. Love it. Thank you ever so much for this. Um, and that, with that, that is Bison Talks Impact.